Hello people, this is Mike Jr. the second, and welcome to my let's play of Kirby's Dreamland. Michael, why are you doing Kirby's Dreamland? Well, here's the down law about things. I am very unmotivated right now to do let's plays. Very unmotivated. I just don't feel like I like what I have. You know, I, I really just kind of give up halfway through and go, I can't do this. I gotta scrap this, I gotta scrap that. You know, it's, it's just very hard for me to continue on, so... Um, yes, I'm gonna be doing Dark Cloud 2. I will be doing Star Force 2. I already have the border and the thumbnail done for Star Force 2, actually. Um, here's the thing, though. I just need to get back into the game. And what better way to get back into the game is by playing a majority of the Kirby series. Ah, uh, yes, I'm gonna be taking on, uh, Kirby's Dreamland, Kirby's Dreamland 2, uh, Superstar Ultra for the DS, and then, uh, Kirby's Dreamland 3, and then I will be taking on the last game, which will be Kirby 64. The Crystal Shards. So I have a lot of Kirby games ahead of me. Why? Kirby's my favorite character of all time. Fun fact. So, yep. Uh, so I don't want anybody to freak out going, I'm not, I'm, I'm just trying to do this to get back into the game, because if I don't do this, I'm not going to want to play any other game. So, without further ado, let's continue on. Now, I just wanted to say I was actually going to use my 3DS capture card to capture these games. The only issue is that the games look very... Because, here's the thing, Visual Boy Advance does not work with fraps, so that means on-the-go on commentary is a no-go, which I don't like, so uh, I was just like, eh, I don't know how I feel about that, but um, that means I would have to record it using the System Zone emulator. By the way, if you get hit a few times, here's some health. Basically uh, a thank you to getting used to the controls, but anyway. Um, but I really didn't like the quality of it, so I, I, I tampered with it in a bit, and I finally got it to work. Um, I turned the frame skip to 1 instead of uh, 0. Because every it, it doesn't happen with Game Boy Advance games, but with other games, it's just it really kind of just goes okay. Well, we're gonna just. Um... But what happens is is that the games decide all of a sudden that the music wants to overlap or something. But I it might be because of the um, and eh, get the fuck away from me, get the fuck away from me. But maybe it might be because of the fact that the frame skips on zero, the sound, the music's getting messed up about where to stop on. So anyway, uh, we're playing a Kirby game, and the first thing is, Michael, why haven't you sucked up any enemy to get an ability? Well, sad thing. No abilities in this game. Yes, the very first Kirby game did not have abilities. Uh, he just sucked things up and spit them out. Like a Kirby vacuum cleaner. Ah, I see what you're going there, Nintendo. No, but, uh, or the lawyer that helped defend, I believe... Uh, Jack Kirby, I know his name was Jack Kirby. I believe he helped him during the Nintendo Universal case for Donkey Kong, I believe. So... It, they forgot which one it was, or at least they forgot how why they named Kirby what they did, but I think either or is probably the best two options. But anyway, no, Kirby is a very a fun character. He is my he, he is my favorite because Kirby just kicks ass, you know? It, there's a lot of situations where you think he's just a giant puffball, but honestly, he's got attitude. Do, do we need to talk about the mass genocides he goes on for just pieces of cake? I will not be covering Squeak Squat. I do have the game. Uh, I, I have too much on my Kirby plate already. <laughs> you know what? No, I you know maybe maybe my approach to that should be that since I'm playing a Kirby game, no... Did that hurt? Oh, that does hurt. Oh, wow. And I'm almost dead. Just stay right here. Wait for the apples to appear. You won't get hurt. It's a very easy boss fight. One more. Ouchie. Alrighty then. Don't fuck with Kirby. And then at the end, Kirby always has fanfare going on, which is pretty awesome. Gotta love it. So anyway, yes, um, the actual... I, I, I want to get into the 3DS capture card thing. Um, I will be using that to record my DS games, but... The sad thing is that the Nintendo games just look like... Or the Game Boy games just look like crap. Because I might even show you a quick picture of it, since I do have the save file. It's like they go for a dark gray feeling. And by the way... I guess you could say the first incarnation of Mike Kirby. Oh, is there something up here? I never knew that. Huh. Hey, health. Why would we need health this early in the game? Come on. There we go. You know what? I also have to give this game major props for... Uh... Yeah, there's a lot of new abilities here, which they don't use, like that bomb and stuff. It's kind of funny, actually. Fucking things. I hate those. Ah, damn it. But anyway, um, there's a lot of things, because I guess they didn't really, ha they didn't do the copy ability until Kirby Adventure. And pe some people might be asking, Michael, are you going to be doing uh, Nightmare in Dreamland or Kirby Adventure? Uh, quick answer, no. 
Reason why is because I already did a Let's Play of Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. Uh, a quick play of it. What I need to do is I need to take it out of its stupid box. Uh, cause I, I, I thought that putting the... No, 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 go play up, Con. Use your invincibility. But I thought that using the, um, a quick play, play blocks would be cool, but it didn't really work out that well. Warp Star. Woohoo! And yes, I did watch, uh, Kirby right back at you. I love that series. I don't care what anybody says. Lo, 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 and la, la, la. Cute little critters. Very easy to fight. I don't believe we've seen them. Uh, we've seen them in Kirby Fighters. Because uh, I do have uh, triple deluxe. I don't have the, the actual DLC for it or whatever the hell that is for the fighters. That adds more content to it. But uh, they do use those uh, one of those levels as part of the whole uh, Kirby Fighter thing. Which I did like. I was actually going to do a small playthrough of just the Kirby Fighter stuff. But eh, it was one of those things where I just kind of backed up on. So And on, even though I have a 3DS capture card, I will not be doing Triple Deluxe either. I am doing my DS games on it just because DS games are easier. Now that I actually have a capture card for it, they'll be easier to handle. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. Come on, let's get out of here. There we go. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for the, the very long high toss, guys. I don't mean for that to happen. It's just that it, it has happened because I do not have uh, time. Um, it's not that I don't have time. It's just that it's, it's a combination of just not really knowing what to do, uh, how I feel about certain games and whatnot, and uh, my commentary on them. It sucks. So it's just, when, when I feel like something sucks so bad, and especially with my commentary being all blah, you know, because I, I have to force myself sometimes to do these things, and you know, I I can always get in the mood to play a Kirby game, hands down. Boom. Haha. Uh -huh. Come on, I want you. Get in my belly. Ah, I gotta love the cute little puffball. Though, sadly, he has a I-don't-give-a-shit face. I just find that really funny. <laughs> Kirby, why'd you eat the fishing rod? I do love Kirby. So, But if anyone's curi curious about how I'm recording this damn thing, it's uh, Visual Boy Advance and Fraps. So. Those guys are actually a pain in the ass. You can only eat them when their eye is open. So, It's funny, they have the beam ability. Like these guys. But we don't. we can't actually use that beam ability until uh, Kirby's Adventure. So... Oh yeah, also, uh, Kirby's Adventure also had, uh, for my channel, um, I did record the final fight with Kirby's Adventure on the Nintendo Wii because I got the game for it on that. Oh no, we do get to see the thing again. Yeah, I couldn't get that far, whatever. It's basically used for this part. But you can't carry it into different rooms with you, so... There goes any thought about using that intelligently. Ah, damn it. Oh, I guess you can hit them without it, but you can't suck them in unless their eyes open. Don't ask why. Damn it. Watch out because of that peanut. Actually, I don't know what that is. A peanut? A coconut? I mean, what's that all about? Oh, no. See, I, I went in there without opening both doors. I guess there was only one door open for that. I do like this foreground with the stars. Yeah, Kirby uh, Dreamland is actually a very short game. Uh, Kirby's Dreamland 2, a little bit different. That's going to be more of the fun game. Oh, no, I guess I already... Hmm. Yeah, Matt. Come on. But yeah, Kirby Dreamland 2 is actually considered to be a pretty difficult game in terms of getting everything. I will not be getting everything. I will be doing the final boss fight. That is it. I will show you guys the bonus games as well. We'll not be doing all the stupid... Oh, uh, perfect, all the boss fights, bonus games. Oh, so this is the curry. Actually, you might have actually seen it in Super Smash Brothers, where the where the fire constantly comes out of your uh, characters. Yep, this is where that's from. Is there health in here? Thank fucking god. I don't give a fuck. I needed the health. <laughs> Invincibility can suck it. But no, the curry is actually um, part of Super Smash Brothers as well. 
Uh, that's what that was referencing towards, if you're curious where the whole jumping up and down when on fire thing came from. It's a cool ability. They never return after this game, however, since uh, the copy ability kind of just makes it useless. Now we are in the sky. I'm also recording this a little bit separately as well. Oop, this is another kind of item. I forget the name of it, actually. But kind of like the curry, we can uh, spit out constantly, except for it's air, it's not fire. And Kirby has infinity fly. This boss fight might be a little bit tricky, depending. Honestly, just don't stop tapping that button. Keep going. Uh, here's the thing, too. I do have these games on the Dream Collection as well. Or the Dream Collection. Uh, Cur yeah, Dream Collection, I think it's what they call it. The Kirby's uh, 20th Anniversary. I had to get that when I got the chance to. Um, I actually got it right after I got my job. But I did, ha I did have to get that game, and... Um, you know, I've played basically every game on it. The only game that I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of that I haven't really finished all the way is Dreamland 3. So, if I get to Dreamland 3 and I haven't really got done to finishing it yet, I'll either wing it or I'll skip it for a future session, but still do uh, Kirby 64. Maybe show you guys a quick uh, look at what uh, Dreamland 3 is. Because I still haven't finished the game myself, and I don't like... Uh, you know, if I don't want a blind Let's Play to be like uh, a Kirby game. Oh, that's a hole. Nice. Good to know. My bad. Fuck you. Okay. So then, uh, would you believe that we're more than halfway done with the game now? Yep. It's really funny when you think about it, because Kirby has such a very lenient... Uh, don't do that again, Mike. I hate these guys, because you can't suck them in. I think you can use your... Nope, 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 nope. Damn it. Yeah. I know you can't suck a man. I think you can use the the spit out you do to help get stuff out. There we go. It's really funny when you think about it because Kirby just does not have, you know, being that this is his first game, doesn't have the, the copy ability. It's just really funny when you think about it because, uh, you know, a lot of people would look at that like it's not even like if you could say, you know, Mario didn't have the mushroom. Or, um, Sonic didn't have a spin dash. Like, it's not even like Sonic didn't have a spin dash in the first game. Like, you know, even that can be... You can still see Sonic. You're just like, okay, it doesn't have a spin dash. Big deal. But, like, Kirby's copy ability is him now. Like, you don't think Kirby without thinking uh, copying abilities. It's really funny. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fuck you. But... I don't know, I just, I love Kirby. He's one of my favorite video game characters of all time, for good reason, I think. I mean, people, a funny thing, he, on Zoom and TV, they actually gave him the most, uh, overpowered video game character over, uh, Azura's, Azura from Azura's Wrath and, uh, Kratos from God of War. And I know a lot of people were pissed about that, but you know what? Yeah, don't, I don't want to, I don't want to hear the jokes, but... You know what? Despite he getting killed right there, Kirby is really a s fucking powerful character. I mean, honestly, they have to kind of retcon and he can't suck in two big enemies or something, you know? Because he really can just kick ass. See, the thing that gets me about Kirby is how badass he is. You know, he fights some of the fucking creepiest goddamn monsters, and he does so without any kind of... without being scared or afraid or anything. He's just like, fuck all your shit. And that monster right there is actually one of our mainstays, uh, kind of like uh, our tree. Oop. Now we don't actually have a cutscene going on right here, we're just uh, doing this. Don't need that. I said I didn't need that. Come on. There we go. Ah, damn it. Yeah, they explode. I don't think they do it in any other future games. Come on, motherfuckers. There we go. Oh, shit, shit. Damn it, Kirby. There we go. Just in time, too. <laughs> it looks like there was a block we could break to the right, too. I wonder if that did anything. I don't believe this game has too many big secrets at all. I know there's, not, there's no, like, secret ending to the game. The only thing is that you can play a hard mode difficulty, which I will not be doing. Fuck hard mode. No, not that it's hard, just I don't want to fuck with that. 
Now, this is probably one of the harder enemies in the game, or the bosses. Overall, not counting uh, the final boss. It's funny, really, the... the what are the Waddle Doos? I think that that's what the the, the I Beam ones are called, Waddle Doos. They, uh, they are so much resembling of this character, and you kind of forget about it after a while. I mean, they kind of reference it in Adventure and uh, Nightmare to Dreamland, but after that, they're just like, nah, man, we're, not, we're just going to forget about it. There we go. Alright, one more motherfucker. Come on. Give it to me. Okay, or just ignore, whatever. I don't care. Thank you. Goodbye. And with that, guys, we only have, uh... No, that was our last boss fight. Was that our last boss? Yeah, that was our last boss fight. We only got one more left. Mount DDD. Oh, yes, there's a plot to this game. Uh, King DDD has stolen all the food from the residents of Dreamland or something like that. I don't know the exact plot. So, Kirby is coming and kicking ass, and this fucking music... Ah, oh, this music, seriously, it is some of the best music in Kirby history. So now we actually have a Mega Man boss rush here. Pretty fucking awesome, I think. So, uh, yeah, but before I do that, I want to send somebody a quick text, so I will be right back, guys. Alrighty then, we are back, folks. I want to make sure one of my things are actually recording. Do I have the... I hope this doesn't fuck anything up. You know what? I'm just going to say fuck it. So anyway, uh, for the most part, um, I would recommend taking on the harder boss first. Oh, also you have to go through a bit of the level first. So I believe they incorporate this into Kirby's Adventure and Nightmare in Dreamland. Uh, if you're going to ask for my opinion, play uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. Also, you have to collect the Kirby. I don't get what sense that makes at all. And also, if you die after you defeat a boss, you don't have to worry about fighting them again. Not sure about hard mode, though. I don't know if they make you have to do them all in one go. Ow. Fuck you. That doubt Kaboo's the hardest. Damn it. Fuck you. See, at the very least, you gotta outlast the one one. The one guy. That's it. Come on, motherfucker. Bring it on. Bring it on. Fuck you. Eh, yeah, what you gonna do about it, huh? Bring it on. Gotcha. Ow. Fuck you. I'm just sitting over here. Not paying attention to you because you're a big dickhead. Boom. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I've been doing other Let's Plays, which I've scrapped recently. But I have to say, the I don't like the D-pad on the PlayStation 4 controller. Because that's what I'm using right now. Uh, totally fucked up my hands. Uh, my, my fingers just, I, maybe it's because I haven't played games in a while, but that D-pad, ugh, I'm using this stick right now. Works a lot better. Anyway, uh, we'll do Lolo -lo -lo and La 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 next. We'll do Wispy and then we'll do the big one. Because I think, th these guys aren't the hardest, but they can end up blindsiding you. Don't respawn, don't respawn, and then fucking respawn. Fuck, suck a goddamn dick. Haha, -ha, gotcha. I don't get how you're supposed to defend against those guys for the most part. And collect the Kirby, the dancing Kirby. I don't get that. Like, what's that supposed to be? Oh, oh. Oh, damn it, Kirby. You're not supposed to eat it. So, these guys actually aren't too bad. Gotcha. Oh. Damn it, Kirby. Don't eat it. Gotcha. Okay, luckily that was the one that it was supposed to explode. Ah, damn it, that I have enough time. Oh shit, I can die here. Don't die, Michael. <laughs> you almost got it. Oh, good one. It's nice when you get the ones that can you can hit from behind. Oh, come on, I hit the other one before. Why not him? Her. It. They're not considered people. Actually, what the hell are these creatures? I mean, we see them referenced a lot. Oh shit, fuck me. Beep. Gotta do them all over again. Oh yeah, we get back here and we have to do the whole fight over again. Oh, fuck me. Fuck you. I don't want to hear your goddamn shit anymore, game. Fuck you. I tried to eat Kirby. Uh, that would be an odd combo. Alright, 
you go down. Fuck you. Sorry, I'm a little mad. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, despite the fact that I'm playing a Kirby game and Kirby, uh, actually, here's a fun fact about Kirby. Um, past time, Kirby was not designed. There's a few things funny about Kirby. Um, Kirby, um, Kirby is one of those video game characters that really had kind of a weird. Uh, they didn't know what they were gonna do with them kind of thing. And uh, the reason why, why actually on the box art of Kirby, the front of it was, um... Oh yeah, do wispy ones. But Kirby was actually gray on the box art, which is really funny. And some people are like, Michael, why was Kirby gray? Well, apparently, um, while in Japan they kept him pink for their release, in America they didn't know if uh, he was going to be yellow. Why would he be yellow? Uh, the creator of Mario, um... I always, I always remember his name, but I forget it. Um, but anyway, the creator of Mario said that, uh... Oh, Kirby should be pink, it should be yellow, probably more resembling a face, which is what Kirby's design was based off of, just making a, a, a face. But, um, yeah, Kirby, because of this, was kind of undecided on the color, but Sakurai won out, which I find really funny, because you know what? Usually, uh, Mishimoto is his name? No, what the hell is his name? I, how can I figure the credit of Mario's name? I always remember it after a while. But basically, you know, he has helped the designs of basically almost most of the majority of games. Uh, Earthbound gave us um, Mother 3. Uh, po uh, Pokemon, he, him, him becoming friends with the guy who made Pokemon, Satoshi, I think his name is. Um, Shigeru Miyamoto, there we go, that's, that's Mario Kratom. Sorry, I can't believe I forgot his name. I'm bad with names, so not a surprise. But no, um, he said that Kirby should be, you know, they went to this thing, and he usually helps designs of video games, but you know what? He was actually more of the against side on this one, which is really funny. Not on purpose or anything, it's not like he was just trying to be a dick. You know, it just, he had, he thought the color yellow was better. Why did I do that? Well, you know what? I was gonna die anyway, so. Whatever game, don't care. Is it funny that I did better on my practice run? It's, it's the recording curse. Let's player curse, recording curse, whatever. I just had to stop going after things. I'm just like, I gotta kill everything. I'm Kirby, goddammit. But no. Only when I have crashes is when I should kill everything. And that's just because I can't control it. There we go. Boom, there we go. Full health. I don't know what happens when you run out of health, or you run out of continues in this game. Now, obviously, we have this fight again. Not a hard fight at all, so I wouldn't worry about it. Come on, motherfucker. Oh, well, that actually hit me. At first, I'm like, did it hit me? <laughs> I wasn't sure. Come on, motherfucker. I did better that time than I did on my practice run. And now we have to actually go into the screen here. And here's DD and his awesome music. Uh, watch out. Basically, what I would recommend is stay up. But he will jump up high enough so that he can hit you. But he doesn't make a thing with his hammer when you jump when he jumps up and does it. Come on, motherfucker. That's right. Oh shit. So yeah, you can't you can't just outlast DDD by doing you give him the hit first. That doesn't work in this game. There we go. Oh, oh. Damn it. God, so many potential. So much potential right there. Okay, he jumped up instead. Whatever works. Fuck me. You know, it's really funny. You know, despite the fact that DDD is the first villain of Kirby, he is not really a villain anymore. Like, you know, he is a villain, but he's one of those anti-heroes almost now. Just the way he acts. Sometimes he acts like a villain, but sometimes he's just someone who really wants to help out the world. And you gotta love that. They do that with a lot of characters in Kirby. And, you know, I'd probably put him on my list of some of my favorite characters that have that have gone from uh, bad to good. I guess you really can't... I don't, I don't think you can put Meta Knight in that, though, because Meta Knight, uh... Meta Knight was technically always good. Um, I guess I should uh, talk to people about that one. Um, Meta Knight in Kirby's Adventure actually helps out Kirby, and that's because Meta Knight is actually preparing Kirby for the fight at the end. I don't know if he knew about Nightmare or not. In the not talking about the anime too. Don't get that mixed up. Oh, 
I've been messing with Pixels recently, and I have to tell you what, I've been listening to a lot of Kirby music. And oh my god, some of the shit people put out is amazing. Ooh, I might actually get this. Come on, don't fuck up me. That's right, that's what I want, that's what I want. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Aw, oh, you going down, DDD, you going down. And go this way, there we go. Trust me, his fight, his his in, his fight in the uh, Dreamland 2, much tougher. Oh, trust me, it took me some time to get used to that. Ah, uh, he does this thing after a while. He just he kind of gives up. Oop, oop, oop! Damn it! I'm right here. Come on, come on! Oop, oop, oop! That was close. Okay, one more. One more. Just do a fucking jump, you fat ass. Just jump in the air. Oh, oh. Damn it! Fuck me! Alrighty then, fuck you. Fuck you. So then, that fucked up. I just couldn't get away in time. Ah, damn it. The fact that he can suck in things always throws me off, because the way he does it, you can't really figure it out in a way that gets you to win. So, you're also supposed to utilize him not jumping and shit, but... I don't know, I have an issue with it. Because again, he likes to suck people in, and ugh. That does not tickle my fancy. Get that hammer out. Oh no, he's going to do a butt stomp. I do like I do like the mini game they had in uh, Triple Deluxe with this. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's still kind of funny and cute. Oh, get away from me! Get away from me! Okay. Nope. I just hate that. That always fucking bugs me. Okay, maybe if I stay over here now. There we go. There we go. Ooh, I hit him with two. I don't know if that took off two damage, but. Yeah, the in this game, when you suck in two enemies and spit them out, it doesn't do like a combo thing. Damn it, I wanted that. Ah, damn it. Wait, what? Did I avoid getting hurt? Oh no, I did not. I was thinking DDD's health was my health. God damn it. Come on, motherfucker. Okay, don't do this shit. Come on. Fight me like a goddamn penguin. Nope, 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 nope. I guess you gotta watch out for that hammer. Nope, 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 nope. Can't get me. Yeah, I guess if he just doesn't have a hammer, then, uh... Okay, he has the hammer out, so... Oh, damn it. I don't want to lose this. I do not want to lose this. Okay, just gonna. S gotcha, DDD. You were done. And he left. He even left his own little sparkle. Now I don't know what those sparkles are supposed to be because, as you can see, Kirby actually uses the sparkles together to turn into Super Kirby. Not really, but um, he actually becomes really, really, really fat. And he carries DDD's castle and has his food carrying out to feed the Dreamland residents. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And that was Kirby's Dreamland. Very, very fun game. Um, you know, I really wouldn't recommend... Uh, it, I think it's on sale right now on the virtual console, depending on when I release this. I did buy it on sale, so I didn't waste too much money on it. But, uh, no, I just... It, it is a really fun game. It's, it's a game made for beginners. And, you know, it wasn't until later that they added the copy ability, so... But, you know, overall, it's a really great game, and I do recommend anyone out there to try the game out for themselves. Um, it, funny enough, it's actually more difficult at times because you're not used to the copy ability. But overall, it's still a game made for beginners that slowly gets up from that, and it's probably a good one for, a very good one for children, without a doubt. Kirby is always good for children. 
Um, unless they want to go for 100%, in which watch out for Dreamland 3 and 64. Some of the later games might be freaky too, but overall it's just what kids are. But anyway, yes, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this game. I will catch you next time for uh, Dreamland 2. So, uh, yep, and now Kirby is going to... Somehow the, the things will carry the thing so food can constantly fall out. And then Kirby uh, talks about how he must reign over by using communism. But anyway, jokes aside, I hope you guys have enjoyed this game. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Jr. the second, si signing out of Kirby's Dreamland. Catch you guys in the next Let's Play. And this explains to you how to do uh, hard mode. Uh, it changed it, for the most part. It, ch it mostly just changes the enemies and changes how they work. But I haven't really messed with it too much because fuck that. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Catch you guys next time. Uh, yeah, see you guys later. Oh, get the fuck over it, DDD. Yeah, go cry in your little corner. Bye.